guys, I'm Ashley Brooke and I am a YouTuber and business owner based here in New York City. And I like to define my personal style as a little bit of girly and edgy. Now I normally do not splurge on shoes, but for the sake of white sneakers, I had to get these. Living in New York City, I feel like white sneakers are so practical. They're comfortable, they protect your feet. I thought that a good investment in a white sneaker was perfect. It was a smart choice for me, so I decided to splurge on those. So my leotard was actually a $15 Amazon find, and I wear it all the time. I wear it to work out, I throw a sweatshirt on over it, walk my dog, I get to wear it over fun things like this. And the tool dress is actually one of my favorite brands from Urban Outfitters, it's called Out From Under, and they do the best basics. They're always so comfortable and so fun. So my bag I actually found at a vintage store in the Hamptons. I got it for $2,900. It is the Chanel camera bag, and it actually has a gold strap attached to it, but I just thought I had a lot of gold going on, so I tucked in the strap, and I'm just carrying it as a clutch. And I also love that it has a little tassel detail on the side, it's kind of fun. So as for my jewelry, the top one I got at a vintage store in Brooklyn and it was $50. And then my middle one actually has an A on it for Ashley and my sisters and I all have matching ones. I live so far from home so when I wear this, it really kind of makes me feel a little bit more connected to them. So my pinky ring is from Etsy and it actually has my fiance's name on it engraved. And then this ring I wear almost every day. It is from Biolana and it is $79. My name is Opal Stewart and I'm a fashion blogger at opalbyopal.com. I would describe my style as very chic, feminine, and a little edgy. My shoes are from Paul Smith. What I love about them is the color, first of all, but also the play on the textile, which is very fun and playful. The pants are from Florian Faso, which is a new French designer who started in 2016. I love her story because she takes discarded hot couture fabrics and she upcycles them and creates these beautiful pieces. But one of the catch to that is that a lot of the pieces are very small batch, limited edition pieces. The top is from Pinko and it, it's a complete splurge. I went into Bloomingdale's one day, one of those retail therapy days, and I decided to kind of splurge on this top. I just love the lace details with the yellow ribbons running right through it. I think it gives a little bit of a fun, quirky edge to it. And I have this metallic chain belt that I got from eBay that retails for about $30. I've been just piling those up. I absolutely love metallic belts. I kind of like those over your traditional leather belt because they kind of give a little bit of an antique, old school edge. This vest is from Beatrice B. Italia. It's an Italian brand that I actually pulled from a showroom that I frequent in New York City. I just love the play on menswear and the edge that it kind of gives to this look. And it retails for about $600. The bag is from Lavard. It's a brand based here in New York City. They started in 2016, and I just love the structure of the bag, but also the charm. You could switch it in and out and change it up. I have the snake one on right now, and the bag retails for about $500. This chain necklace is by Tara. It retails for about $1,500, the most expensive piece I'm wearing today. It's a fine jewelry brand, and so basically she's sells other pieces, you could attach it to this necklace and just add on to it and customize it in any way that you want, which I absolutely love. And this necklace with my name on it was actually gifted by my sister for my birthday, and I absolutely love it. I wear it every single day. So this first ring was gifted by my boyfriend, and it's an opal ring, of course. For me, it's priceless. Hi, my name is Katie Bellotti and I work at L'Oreal Paris. I do digital and social during the day and I moonlight as an influencer, YouTuber, podcaster, everything else. So honestly, for my personal style, I value comfort over everything, but that normally takes the form of dresses, skirts, really flowy pieces, kind of extra, to be honest. So my shoes are from Lulu's. I have this style in six different colors. I love them that much. I don't really spend a lot of money on shoes, to be honest, because New York City ruins all of my shoes. I walk 20-ish blocks to work, and I can confidently say 
these are comfortable to walk in. So my dress is from Thurley, and I initially saw this on the website, but it was way out of my price range, and I fell in love with it. I was obsessed, so I kept looking back, kept waiting for it to drop in price, and it did, and so that's when I snagged it, and it's my ultimate princess dress. One of my biggest mantras is, you know, always look like you're going somewhere better after, you know? So the bag is from Zara. I got it recently. I love the wicker styling of it. I honestly don't have much like this in my collection, which is why I needed to have it. And it retails for about $50. So my necklace was a gift from a New York City-based designer, Argento Vivo. I'm not sure how much it retails for, but it's a really beautiful, delicate gold that reflects in the light. So my earrings were also a gift from Tess and Trisha. That's the brand. I don't recall how much they were because they're a gift, but very delicate, very beautiful. I have very sensitive earlobes. <laughs> like, to wait because I wear really huge earrings normally. So this is a very big change of pace or very small change of pace for me. On my left hand, I actually, I love to mix metals. So I have a rose gold ring that I actually designed myself. I worked with a jeweler last summer um, on a campaign and I got to design my very own cut. And it's called the Katie, you can buy it. It's from Eli David Designs here in New York. So as a fashion influencer, there's a lot of pressure to constantly have new clothes, the latest styles, you know, wear something different in every post. I'm one of those people that when I find an outfit or clothes that make me feel ultimately confident, I will wear that, you know, three times a week, four times a week. I think I'm just a better person when I like my outfit. I'm Lynn Kim Do. I'm an actor, producer, and blogger. I would describe my style as streetwear chic. Uh, I believe in each piece kind of being an expression of who I am. So I really choose designers that I either really vibe with or sustainable or functional, something even political sometimes. My shoes are from Koss. They are awesome because they're sustainable and really big on high design. Sustainability is really important to me. I think it really helps me make a purchase. For me, I don't make many purchases, but when I do, I need it to count. A lot of times, I actually go vintage shopping because it's a it's a way of recycling. This jumpsuit is awesome because it's from Aramaco. They're an art studio as well, and I think it's really awesome to either go out on a date or just out to work. Um, this hat here is from Clyde. It's leather. I believe it's around 200. And then my earrings are from Lady Grey. I love these girls because they're really political and they really stand behind their opinion, which I absolutely support. And then this bag is from MCM. It is $12.50. This bag is great because it really injects my streetwear design and aesthetic. And I think a big part of streetwear is definitely being able to combine and seamlessly style two really polar ideas. These silver rings on my hands, they're awesome because they're actually handmade in Arkansas and they range from $25 to $30. I know, crazy. The pearl, it's Keshi Pearl and it's from Mary McGill. She designs and makes all her jewelry in New York. <laughs> 